What up, what it is, welcome back to my channel. My name is Allison, if you are new. In today's video, I am playing with the new collab with Elf and Jay Kissa. I got all three of the products that they offer and we're gonna go through them and check them out. If that sounds like a good idea to you, please keep on watching. I'm gonna play with the eyeshadow palette. I'm gonna play with all three of these items, obviously. That's why I don't have anything on my face. That was a dumb sentence. <clears throat> so I'm gonna start off by swatching everything. I'm gonna show you what the mascara and the eyeliner actually look like, and then I'm gonna do the shadows on my hands, so that way you can kinda, I don't know, see how swatches roll. If you don't like swatches, skip ahead, but some people do. So the eyeliner on the box, there's no actual name for the eyeliner. Same thing with the mascara or on the mascara tube itself. It's got that cute flash art that's actually, you can feel the texture. And this is retractable, which I think is nice for the price. Let's see how much product you get. Oh my God, I'm gonna be here for a while. Yeah, this is what you came for. So it looks like that's about as much product that you get. Tis $5. That's fine. I think realistically that's kind of why I prefer using a pencil because at the end of the day you know you can sharpen that pencil down to the little nibbity. Okay, so I played with this yesterday and I would say it is a pretty navy slate blue and it smudges well and also I'm gonna leave it for a second so I'm gonna show you what the mascara color looks like. So this is the mascara. It says mascara, in case you forget. And to me, this is not necessarily like a rusty, whatever she called it, color. It's just a warm tone brown mascara. I mean, if you're looking at this and you're thinking, uh, that's a rusty brown, then okay. Oh, Also, here's what the wand looks like. A lot of product comes off on this, and I can tell it's a pretty wet mascara, so... So here's the palette itself. It's got that cute pattern on it. The names are on the back. One thing that I kind of hate is I wish that things would open all the way, just because I'm crazy. But here's what she looks like. And it really is super vibrant. I'm I think it's adorable. Uh, I swatched these yesterday, but honestly I was in a pissy mood when I was filming and um, you wouldn't have wanted to see that. So you've got the highlighter here, which is shade 23, and then My Moon, Alien, Danger, Sway, which is the duochrome shade, Mac and Cheese, and BFF. So let me show you what they look like. Oh, it's been about mm, two minutes now and this is still a little messy but starting to dry down so it's got a good time to like smudge and play with it mac and cheese bff and that's the highlight there and so there's the palette and the highlight the highlight is really pretty um these two I don't know if you can tell on camera, I mean, it's definitely more of that orange tone, and this is more of that, like, mustard brown shade. And then these guys are cute. That green is pretty exciting. I really was impressed, like, playing with this, the highlight, there's no glitter. It's just a really nice glow, so kudos to that one. And here's also, here's the brush that comes in this palette. Just, uh, Look at this. Hold on. What did I do yesterday? This is how long it is compared to my finger. <laughs> oh, I pulled, uh, this is out of the little Milani jet set. And I just wanted to show how little it is. And I don't know. The only reason why I'm showing you that is because little brushes, I don't like. I don't like it at all. But I mean, the feel of the brushes themselves is nice. So you have like a little flat taper brush and then you have a little pencil brush. All right, now we're dry. I'm not sure what kind of look to do, so uh, we'll figure it out. I'm gonna zoom in. We'll probably just 
play some music and um, come up with something and then talk about it. I'm nuts. This is what you signed up for. Don't forget that. Fuck it. I'm gonna play with this shade very lightly and kind of buff that uh, lightly into the crease, but starting this way and fading outward. I think I'm actually just gonna blow this color out. Okay, I didn't say this a minute ago, but I um I always set my lids with because my lids can be a little early. I love using this uh, by Terry by Terry Hyaluronic Hydra Powder. It's just like an HD powder. I could have used my Stellar Haze, but I like to dust that all along so it makes my lid feel silky, but it also absorbs all of those oils. It's kind of like a good twofer. Uh, and I really wanted to make sure that these things blend together. I'm not going for like excessive opacity, maximum, you know, whatever. Let me figure out this side of my face and we'll come back and we'll work through a D side of my face. All right. So this is what we're going to play with. I use the eye pencil kind of just out on the little baby wing and uh, on my upper lash line, I kind of left the bottom blank so it kind of opens the eye up a little bit. This green, it's like I've packed it on a few times so it's starting to fade. So I'm going to do this eye and show you this, you know, in all full speed motion. And what I'm actually going to do is pack a different lime green on the corner just to kind of, you know, so let's do this. So something I did notice in playing with this was this My Moon shade. The more and more I packed it on, it blends nicely, but I did have some bald spots that I had to go in and just kind of pack color into. I just feel like I have weird buildup in certain areas, like this right here, and then it kind of balds into... It looks choppy, doesn't it? Let's move on. Beggars can't be choosers right this second. Okay, I'm going to take... So I'm going to take some concealer, and I'm just using this itty bitty flat oval brush. I'm barely brushing the inside of this, and I'm just gonna pat, and then with a slippery brush, I'm going into that shade, that duochrome sweet. There's green on my brush, and so. I'm just gonna buff out the edges using the same little brush um, with that moon shade. And so from there, I went in with this BFF shade and I just buffed that heavily on the lower lash line. And so before I go any further, I'm going to use this pencil, which I realized a minute ago when I stuck the cap on the bottom that there's a sharpener on here. And then when I actually try to sharpen the tip, the gel inside spins with the sharpener, so um, that didn't work very well. So I'm going to do the upper rim and then I'm going to smudge out on the lash line. little subtle flake but it just kind of adds a little bit more of a depth at the end of my wing you'll know what I mean okay so now I want to show you man it just kind of looks oh my god I could do this all day look at that little dot I'm pretending like it doesn't bother I don't know I like that moon, uh, my moon shade, but it is um, not perfect. I mean, the color's pretty, but it's, uh, where's weird? Okay, so I don't have any primer or anything like that on my inner corner, which I'm sure this could look better if I did, 
but I just want you to see realistically the color payoff that you get. It's vibrant at first, but I noticed it kind of wore away the more I tried to like blend and place what I already had on my face. Like you can see, it's not, it's not there yet. And I also like, I tried to blend it outward and then I would rub it with my finger and see how it, now it looks dark a little bit. It's weird. Which made me kind of take off a lot of it because I tried to blow out that neon color pretty far and um, it looked terrible because it was like a dingy lime green with a pop of lime green. So the mascara, it's nothing special to me like it already got kind of everywhere over on this side but I feel like for the price it's all right so I like the mask I mean mascara is all right realistically I don't feel like I had a ton of definition I think that's probably because of the color the wand is a little thicker than what I'm used to but it's not as big as some that are out there because there's some that are fucking massive so you know there's that what I do want to do is try to enhance this inner corner with a different green to see if there's a difference Alrighty, so there you guys have it. That is my look with my little Jade Kisa palette and her little pencil and mascara. It is very cute and uh, very well made for the price that you pay for it. Everything all together is $23, in case you forget the numbers literally on the front of the palette. I definitely, I don't see myself using or reaching for the mascara that often, to be honest, unless it's like a supernatural makeup day, we'll see what happens. But I do think I'll probably reach for this palette a little bit more, especially the the pencil is really nice. Uh, the highlight's really nice. I haven't used the mac and cheese or that purple shade yet. I'll let you know if I play with this more on camera. But um, that my moon shade is a little weird as far as like blending. I do get some issues. Come on, focus. I do get a little patchiness. I mean, it looks all right right now, but I've got a little bit of a mess to work out right there. Um, and I feel like it kind of fades, so I kept reapplying, reapplying. See, like, I've got a little bit of a fading right there happening already. So I've reapplied several times with a lot of these shades, except for that duochrome shade is quite nice. I do like that. I mean, it's not crazy intense, impactful, but, I mean, it's just enough. And then the highlight, oh yeah, I have little my little but we can always add more so I'm gonna take this little Sonya G brush the only thing I can say about that is it probably does enhance a little bit of texture but realistically doesn't have any glitter in it if you like a good glow it's a good glow it's a good glow I will say that oh I didn't even put any brow gel in hold on Okay, so anyway, there's me playing with my little Elf X J Kissa palette. Congrats, J Kissa. I think you made a great product. It's adorable. I'll continue to play with it. And uh, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you like it. Please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel while you're here if you like bullshit like this, because I like to make bullshit like this. And I'll see you in the next video. All right, bye.